Hey guys, decided to go ahead and do that makeup video thing you guys have been asking for, some of you. Got a lot of janky makeup here. Uh, anybody else out there got janky makeup? It's good makeup. It's just like, you know, it's been in my makeup bag. It's beat up, it's a little bit dirty. I'm here in this hotel for a while working. Thought I would use this key lighting, this mirror to make you guys a video on how I just do my everyday makeup. Here we go. As you can see, I've got some rosacea happening. We'll address that later. Hopefully address that in a real way soon, but covering it is the best option for now. I've already moisturized. <laughs> keep, keep having flubs here. Oh my gosh. I need to put on some sunscreen, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I am using, this is very beat up, but it's been in my purse, it's not old. Oh geez, how do you do? I'm using this. <laughs> Learning, guys. Uh, this is It Cosmetics. Your Skin But Better CC Illuminating Cream. It's got SPF 50. Mine, I think, might be a little light for my skin right now because I do a little self-tanner in the summer. Never, never tan my face. No, don't. And then I just, normally I have bangs. So I would do this as my bangs were wet. wet. I just use my hands for this because I grew up in the 80s and 90s and we didn't have beauty blenders back then. I'm an artist, uh, but I'm not a makeup artist, per se. But I do consider myself, because I'm an artist, I'm good at makeup, you know? Um, I have my own way of doing it. But my palette and my methods are more like messy artist style rather than clean makeup artist style. If I was doing somebody else's makeup, I would make sure I was making it a lot more presentable. So there's this concealer that I was browsing around the other day at um, this place we have in LA called Mamie's, big makeup supply place. And uh, the guy helping me gave me a sample of this Cryolin TV paint stick. Gave me a sample. He gave me so much, like it could last me a year. Maybe because he doesn't wear a concealer, he didn't realize how much he was giving me. I feel like he gave me $50 worth of concealer, but um, it's pretty thick. It's good. It's good for that first layer of concealer. <laughs> That's right. Multiple layers are gonna happen. I do this with my finger, obviously. You know, just put, but make it thin because if you are a lady, and not, you know, a 23 year old, and you've got some crinklies around your eyes, you don't wanna get too thick on concealer. I also put some down here, cause I've got a lot of discoloration around my chin, redness. So I put around my nose, on the inside here, I just can't, I don't feel right without that. All right, mm. so now what? I'm gonna do a fine layer of poudre. That's powder and French. So I got this brush. This is not a powder brush, but it's the brush that I use. I can't read it anymore. I don't know what it is. It's just a brush, man. Some people might use this uh, for foundation, but I don't. And this I feel good about. This is Milk. I love this brand so far. Lots of good stuff. They're cruelty free. Forgot to say that. That's the most important thing to me. I don't use any of this unless it's cruelty free. Unless I am trying to get rid of an old, of something that I had from before or something that was a gift. You know, I'm not gonna not use it if it was a gift. Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. Check it. Uh! Finally go over what I've done there with the sunscreen CC cream. That's good for me. I don't know if it's good for anybody else, but it takes, it. I need my foundation to have a bit of grit 
not grit, but like rough up the surface so it's not so smeary so that you can put other things onto it and have them not slide off your face. I'm pretty simple with my eyes. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of my favorite um, eyebrow pencil, which is from Anastasia, uh, cruelty free. Let me see if I have enough left just to connect the dots here. So first I brush up like so. Just brush them straight up. It's not how I leave them, but it makes it easier to see. Let's see if I can have enough just to go in this little bit right here and make it look like I've got a little bit more under the arch. That's enough, wouldn't you say? And then I go through and I brush them again. Make sure there's no holes where you see skin peeking through. I go over the top and just skim down the ones that are up like a fan. I don't want them to be up like a fan. That's weird to me. Some people love that. I just, it feels wild and unfinished in a not great way. So I'm gonna take this beautiful palette. It's Elf and it's called Golden Goddess. See that dark brown rusty sort of uh, metallic color there? I get some of that and I get some of this dark and that seems to be what's best for my eye color and my skin tone. I'm gonna take this brush which is Bobbi Brown, just a tiny little thing. And um, when I don't have eyeliner, because I'm out of everything right now apparently, I go in and I just put it right at the lash line. Get right in there, right at the lash line. Sometimes directly on the eyeball as well. That felt really good. Oh my gosh, I got it on my eye again. Whatever. The body's amazing. The human body's ability to cleanse itself. It's nice, huh? But you know what? It transferred to the bottom. And I wasn't planning on that. That was not my preferred result. You just want to emphasize, my friend has what they call enlarged irises. I was always so jealous of this. Her, the colored part of her eye was like way bigger than most other people's, which I think turned her into like this Puss in Boots character that everyone wanted to know and everyone wanted to date and be friends with. Just wiping that inside waterline out on the bottom, but keeping it going on the top. All right, so mascara. Pixie is my favorite right now. Pixie by Petra. And it's number one bold black, and it's the Large Lash Mascara. There is the first kind of layer. These are Tweezer Man. They're kind of old, but they still, they're great. Um, and I kind of go in and if there's one that's extra chunky, I squeeze it down a little. And I get them to be a little more uniform. You know? I like to do the bottom at the same time. I love mascara, you guys. All the women in my family, they didn't leave the house unless they had their face on. And I have learned to do the same. I kind of just, I really like that dolly eye. Hi, I'm awake. Getting tired. Sleepy time. And I'm up again. That's me. I hope that you've stuck around. This is one of my favorite things. It's Mineral Fusion Concealer Duo. And I never use this one, but I always use this one. And this is cool, the color, but find your color. This looks really pink when you, when you get it, but it's, it's not when it goes on. 
So I, I do another layer under my eyes using my finger again. Look at that. It really it has a lot of pigment. You can get this at Whole Foods, at Sprouts, in a random place to find concealer, right? But I think what happened was I just needed it. By the way, I'm gonna just do another powder layer right now. Thin, thin one. A lot of times I take that same concealer and just do right under my eyebrow on the brow bone. Blend that in. And it sort of just cleans that up a bit. And then I take my powder, little powder puff. I like the old school kind. These just, like, um, you know, they're made of actual cotton, I think. And just powder it there. All right, and then sometimes I need a little bit more uh, mascara because the concealer has gotten on some of my lashes. So I'll go through and just like barely touch up the mascara layer at the bottom. Not too much. I think people can get used to the way that they do their makeup and just become numb to it. I've seen that happen a few times. Anybody that looks totally insane, there's this televangelist lady. She passed away, uh, maybe you guys know her, Tammy Faye Baker. She was known for wearing quite a lot of makeup. And bless her heart, because she seemed like a good lady. I just don't think she could see, you know, what she was doing at a certain point. You just get used to it. And then it just gets out of hand. I remember this shirt once I saw in Walmart. <laughs> it said, it had a giant smudge of makeup all over it, and underneath it said, ran into Tammy Faye Baker at the mall today. I thought it was funny. So now, what I'm gonna do about this. I got this on Amazon. It's Conceal to Reveal Palette by Undone. It's like 10 bucks. This is shade three. It's a little bit pinky orange, but honestly, that's what it takes in order to cover this up. And then I add a little, I'll show you. Okay, so this is a beauty blender that has been used a couple other times and it doesn't break me out. So I wash it every couple days. Don't judge me. I've got this lipstick by Urban Decay. It's called Heartless Urban Matte. This is extremely beat up. It's been in my makeup bag. I take the beauty blender We'll blush up in there. I can get out of control with this. You can get too, too blushy. My husband said to me the other day, um, your blush looks ridiculous. And I was like, don't hold back. Now what I'm gonna do is there's still a few red marks that I have. I just take this concealer and I don't even wanna tell you what it is because it's old and it's not cruelty free. But you find a color that's got, if you're, if you have my skin tone, I have a lot of yellow in my skin tone. So I get a creamy concealer that's heavier and uh, like a palette and go in and just cover those individual little marks. Kind of blot them with your finger after. You know, and remember I've already got powder on, so it's gonna stick a little better. Pretty much done, except for lips, and lips are important to me. Another thing that I just picked up while at Whole Foods <laughs> and Sprouts, Mineral Fusion. Sheer Moisture Tent in Shimmer. Sometimes I wipe a lot of it off. When I wanna pump it up a little bit, I'll put a pink, I like having multi-dimensions on my lips and then blotting almost all of it off. Zuzu Luxe and the color is Dollhouse Pink. Just on the top is good enough. So I blot it almost off. Then I'll take this e.l.f. lip gloss in Pink Kiss. Kind of go a little over the lip line with the bow. 
and then blot again. There you go. Isn't that a nice lip color? It's just barely there, but it gives that hint of pink. So will you guys please tell me in the comments below if you like these makeup tutorials, if you want to see more of them, if you want to see hair instead, or you like both, tell me what you want to see. And if you have any makeup tips for me, things that you think would work better for me, please let me know. Or for anyone. I would love to hear your comments. Alright? See you guys next time.